I'm not sure where Tara is. Do we have her right now? Can we pull her up? Tara, tell us where you are and, and what kind of reaction are you getting? Well, Carolyn, we are outside of the Noni's Sherwood Grill on the west side where all morning long we've been to several places and we've heard people, we've watched people glued to their TVs waiting to see these verdicts. And one person who stopped us, actually stopped us right outside of our live truck because he said he just had to tell us how he felt about this is Larry Rogers, your Detroit resident. Absolutely. Tell me what are your thoughts about it? I just think this is a great day for Detroit. He deserved what he gets and I hope he does a long time. Also, I hope for the city council to go and clean this city up so we can get things going properly. This is something that a lot of people are very passionate about. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, my phone's been ringing off the hook since the verdict, and I'm so happy. In fact, I'm going to celebrate today. I haven't had champagne in years, but I think I'm going to have some today. Okay, well, thank you for your opinion. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. And also, inside Noni Sherwood Grill here on Detroit's west side, people have been watching the TV all morning long, trying to find out what was happened. Now, of course, we did speak to several people who felt that the former Detroit mayor, his father, and Bobby Ferguson should not be found guilty. But many we spoke to said the verdicts were fair. Take a listen. Well, I think he deserved it scam people out of their money, so that's what I think. They should get, they should, they punishment should be a lot more than everybody else's. They was respected, the community and everything. I think it's fair. I think it's very fair and that Kwame should pay for what he's done to this city, the infrastructure of the city. Were you shocked at all? No, no, not at all. I was shocked that it was a couple hung jury counts there, but otherwise, no, he should go. I think the city suffered a whole lot and still suffering behind all this mess, and I'm just glad it's coming to an end. You know, everything is going to, whatever the uh, jury decided, it's best for them. And as the last woman said, whether a lot of the people we spoke to think that it was fair or not fair, they do feel as though the city of Detroit and the residents of Detroit are the ones who really suffered through all of this. Reporting live in Detroit's West Side, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News. Carolyn Stephen. I think when you hear from a lot of people, Tara, a lot of people are saying it's time for the city of Detroit to move forward, and a lot of people are probably happy that this is at least coming to a close. Thank you so much, Tara.